Hey, how you all doing? Welcome to this Enloid um, video leap um, tutorial. So it's not really a tutorial, it's a walk. Well, it's, it's a bit of a tutorial, I suppose. It's a walkthrough, talk through. And it's Enloid's um, attempt at um, at video editing. And I've got to say, before we go on and before we walk through, talk through all the tools and and sort of give you a brief overview of what it can do, and we'll do a a quick sort of. Um, Fade to black demonstration, maybe a quick tutorial included in. So I just like to show you something, how to do something. It is really good. So if you use iMovie on the iPhone or iPad or anything like, that, it's a really, really good alternative. Although there is a paid um, a subscription fee, and I think it's something like one pound per month or something like that. If you, if you if it's in 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 UK and um, dollars, I'm not too sure. Maybe one one point five dollars, whatever. You know, it's, it's sort of. Um, over the year, it doesn't um, it doesn't add up to too much. Or you can you do have the option to buy it outright, and I think in UK it's about thirty eight ninety nine, about forty pound, thirty nine pound. Um, I suppose that's about fifty dollars in UK. Is it worth it? Um, it depends on how much video editing you do with your iOS device. For it is um, it is powerful. It's really good, and and you can do lots of things with it. It's just a specific way of doing things. So let's get on and um, and show you how to use it anyway, and show you what we've got on the screen, and um, and 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 all that good stuff. So as you can see on my screen, I've got the little click um, little plus button in the centre. So that is going to be where my video will be. Top left hand side, we've just got the um, Enlight Video Leap logo, and if you've already a paid subscriber, it will just tell you you're already a paid subscriber of this. And then we've got to um, here on the right hand side, shall I say, we've got the help function. So if we click it, it just gives you, tells you, gives you some um, tutorials, which is quite cool. And you've got the contact us button at the bottom. Um, and then and light, I think they, they try their best with their customer um, service, their support. <clears throat> and then just on the right hand side again, we've got the um, export media. Um, once you've once you've completed your, um, your, your your film or your video, so on the left, go back to the left again. We've got the little play button. So this is um, this will uh, let me let me talk about that in a minute. I'm just going to show you how to import a film and stuff like that. So we've got the plus button in the center, and this basically does the same as the play at the top left hand side. So we click the plus button, and then you can on your all your photos, all your videos on your left hand side, or you can look at the stock ones. And the stock ones you can see along the top. We've got some green screens now um, for those that don't know what you can do I'll maybe do a few tutorials with them at a later stage but green screen it just allows you to put any background um, on the image that you see in front of you so you see a kitten a puppy the moon and some clouds you can put any background image behind those you can just blend it in it it will um, it will blend in there's a specific way of doing it I'll show you another time so I'm just going to select this surfer video down on the bottom um, bottom here um, and then just select add to project and then it just gives you that within your video project and now I can just choose to skim through my playhead by sliding my finger along the timeline like so or I can click the play button and it will play through my timeline Now this video is seven seconds long I know it's seven seconds long because um, at the top it gives me the frames per second and, and also the seconds six and then seven as you can see there at the end there's six and there we're on seven seconds and here's the frames in the timeline um, so it just shows you the speed at which we're scrolling through which is 15 frames per second at the moment and then on the left hand side over here we have the actual time so um, I can when you're video editing, sometimes you need to zoom into the timeline, make the timeline bigger, um, increase the 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 um, the size of the timeline, so you can do more intricate things. And the way we do that within Light is quite with Video Leap. It's quite simple. Is we just pinch and squeeze on the actual timeline itself. So our forefinger and our thumb just pinch and squeeze, and it will scroll out all the way up until. Um, sort of um, um, so your timeline is really big and really long and what that will then allow you to do even though it still moves with, through the timeline obviously the same speed but what it allows you to do is be more precise with the things that you want to do with keyframes and stuff and if you don't know what keyframes are I'll show you what they are a little bit later so let's talk about 
um, the tools we've got along the bottom. So on the bottom left, we've got a mixer. Now what that allows us to do is mix, obviously an image with the video or a video with the video. So we could select another video and we could change the blending mode and we could mix pretty much as you would do with any image and any sort of image tutorial that I've, I've shown you how to do in the past within light or in like photo fox um, you just apply the same thinking and then obviously we've got our text now wherever you are on the playhead you will notice that it inserts and just click undo bottom left hand side there so if i move along my timeline and i want our text to be at the start i just select the text there and you can see along the bottom really self-explanatory you can do a lot with your text you can edit the text you can change the font you change the color you can change the opacity so if we're going to go to opacity it's the same sort of end light tactic um, or end light um, sort of process that you would do you select the opacity and then slide up or down on the um, on the on the scroll bar there just to select um, your opacity type and it's the same with anything else um, when you apply an effect to remove this I could select the um, undo button on the left hand side or just remove on the um, the right hand side the trash can but let me just show you what so obviously this text would be for the duration of our video timeline as you can see the yellow box um, depicting the text so if I wanted to change the duration length of the text I would just um, drag the text so just force click and then drag the text along my timeline force click drag the text along my timeline so now you can see I just pressed the video so it minimizes the text at top if I want to maximize the text at the top so I can edit it again I select the little T just press the button and it will open up the text so then we can obviously down the bottom where there's a lot of things that we can do with our text colors and all that good stuff we can edit it so I'm just going to click remove and then I'm going to go back scroll back along my timeline and so we've removed that text so that's text then we have audio now audio obviously you can import songs and and, and all that good stuff from um, from from your um, from your library or we have a stock um, batch of sound effects which are really cool so if you wanted to add an um, an, an action sort of um, sort of text I'm sorry audio file in there you would just do that like so and then um, and then likewise go back to the audio again sorry um, just select back on the sound effects if I wanted to add a, um, a, a video game or a trailer sound effect on this then you've got your stock sort of um, stock sounds that you can use there then we've got filters that we can apply to our timeline so like I said remember if you're scrolled through your timeline here and then we select the filter to apply that filter it will only start applying that filter when we get to that stage in the timeline okay so if we want to change that as I said force press and hold and scroll it through to create that filter effect in your timeline so obviously I've created that filter effect. Now what I want to do is open up my filters. The way I can do that is select filters on the bottom left hand side and it gives you um, all your stock sort of filters that are available to, to you. And again, with, the, um, with the, 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 the bar along here, you just choose the um, depth of your effect, not the depth of your effect, the, the, the strength of your effect or the strength of your filter that you've, um, that you've applied right there, as you can see. So if you, with that in mind, you could sort of create um, like a, a negative fading or, or something like that. Um, so then we go back to, if we want to go back to our initial or our um, filters menu, these two little arrows on the left hand side, we just click those and it goes back to the filters um, menu. You can duplicate that effect, you can split that effect, arrange that effect, or like I'm going to do now, we can remove that effect. And then we've got the adjust so the adjust obviously select the adjust and it will um it will start from wherever we are our playhead is in our timeline so let me just remove that and show you again if i move along our timeline here and i select um adjust there the adjust um, option will be where my playhead is okay so i'm going to go back to the start now I'm going to come back to adjust, so don't worry about adjust just for now because that's what I'm going to do the tutorial on. And then we have effects. 
So on the effects, we can defocus. Obviously, you have the blur. And then we have more tools open to us, so we could shape that and have all of the screen blurred, um, make it 100%, add a few keyframes, and then we could sort of um, fade in from blur and all that sort of good stuff and i can do more tutorials on this so i'm going to click back on my timeline for now and then click remove that um, and that's one of the effects go back to the other effects prism is nice for a good 3d effect colorify and then you just color and then film grain obviously adds the film grain but like i said um i will do more tutorials on this as we go through and then we have glitch so you can create like a glitch effect like this etch, like so, it just creates an etch and then it opens up more menu bars. So it can change the density by scrolling up or down, change the angle by scrolling up or down. So you imagine with keyframes, if you don't know what keyframes are, I'll talk about them a little bit more um, later on. If you're not familiar with video editing, um, I'll show you what a keyframe is shortly. But with the, with the angle, you could create quite a nice um, effect with some of these tools. Um, on on video so it's going to click remove and remove that again and then we have the tone lab now the tone lab it just gives us different color tones um, that we can apply to that video and click remove again and then we have format and we can just change the the format of the video and just gonna click back so what I want to show you how to do on this tutorial and that is um, in a nutshell that is in light the little play button there at the top left hand side what we didn't talk about apologies is just to allow you to add a new project you just click plus new project and you get back to the screen that we initially started with um, so i'm going to show you how to fade in a really basic transition effect fade in a video um, or fade in this video effect the way we're going to do it i'm going to put my playhead at the very start of my video and i'm going to click adjust so this brings in the adjust, but I've not actually done anything with this little adjust, um, little adjust um, function yet. So I'm gonna, what we're gonna do, and um, obviously we could change the brightness, the contrast, the exposure, the offset temperature, and all these things with the hue, the vibrance, we could duplicate it, duplicate it, split it, arrange it, or remove that, um, that effect. But what we're gonna do to fade in from black, fade in from white as well if we wanted, I'm gonna to go to offset and select my offset. Now offset, what it does, it changes the color of the effect of the video. So if I scroll to the left, it will go black, go dark. If I scroll to the right, it will go bright, it will go white. Then scroll back to the center. Now what I could see people making the mistake of, let me remove this, is coming in forward a little bit in the playhead, selecting the effect and then selecting maybe um, scrolling back down the playhead and then moving the effect. Now, obviously we're not hovering over the effect, so you can't see any changes. So in order to see those changes take effect, you're gonna need to have the playhead um, or the effect where the playhead line is. So where this line is, you need to have the effect where that is. So we're just gonna go dark. Now we're gonna go to keyframe. In the bottom right hand corner, there's something called keyframe. Now keyframe, all it allows you to do in any video editing is allows you to key to take a picture or keep that frame, remember these frames on the, um, on the timeline, for a duration until you tell it to come out the way. So I'm just gonna collect, so that the screen we've got at the moment because of the offset is dark, okay? So I'm gonna select keyframe. So that will keep this image, if I scroll through the timeline now, it will keep it dark because that will, that's what we've keyframed it at. So if now I go into, there's one second, and there's one and a half seconds. And then I bring this effect back up to zero. It will automatically keyframe that effect over a second and a half. So over a second and a half, it will fade in from black and bring me into that keyframe point, okay? So once I've clicked keyframe, I can move my timeline and it will, and then I can apply another effect. It will automatically record that keyframe for me. So now this keyframe is gonna stay at the light point. Remember we said seven seconds long this video was. So if I go back to six, then six and a half, and we want it to fade out to black. So we're at this point at the moment where it's bright. I'm gonna select keyframe. 
because that's the point at which we want it to start fading from. So then I'm going to go to the end, take my effect back down the way, so now I've faded out to dark. So remember at the start when we zoomed in to this timeline, I'm going to zoom back out of this timeline by pinching and squeezing and we can see pretty much all of the seven seconds in the timeline. Go to the start, press play, so now we've got this video that, um, that fades in from black and fades out to black. Really, really simple effect, fades in from black and fades out from black. So that's a very brief um, overview, looking at all the tools we have um, available available to us to um, do this video video editing in video um, video leap and like video leap so um, I'll obviously be back with more video um, editing tutorials um, I have done quite a lot of video editing tutorials with um, FCPX and iMovie on my channel anyway but um, but we'll, we'll we'll try and get some um, good effects in so you can do to your sort of home videos video shot with your iOS devices with your phones um, in in light video leap so um, if you have any questions drop them below if you have any um, requests again drop them below thanks a lot for watching I'll catch you all soon remember I would um, I would then save that out I would click the the top right hand button just before I go click the top right hand button save to camera roll or change my resolution so I can make it 1080p or 720p I could change the frames per second and then I would just save that export that out to camera roll I go 1080p, save it to camera roll, and then I'll, um, I'll show you what it looks like at the end. So again, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll, um, I'll be back with more soon. Um, catch you soon. Bye.